Head west to Port Patrick. This was the shortest crossing to Ireland and is named after St Patrick, who strode from Ireland to here. The harbour was built in 1821 by John Rennie, but the ferry route was moved to the safer crossing via Stranraer, and as a result the harbour fell into decline and the railway also closed. Today, however, this pretty harbour teems with pleasure craft, and this busy holiday and fishing resort is a well-loved spot. To the south, the romantic ruin of Dunskey Castle sits in its strong position on the headland, high above the Craigach Burn. The gardens of Dunsky, which include a charming 18th century walled garden with working Mackenzie and Moncour glasshouses, an intriguing maze and interesting woodland gardens with loch views. There is an established collection of mature shrubs and plants, amongst which are some surprises that enjoy the microclimate. There is a small shop and an exotic collection of plants for sale. Self-catering cottages and fishing on two trout lochs are also available at Dunsky. Continue north to Corswall Point. Here stands a most unusual hotel, Corswall Lighthouse, which was built by the grandfather of Robert Louis Stevenson. Built in 1815 and A-listed, it still beams a warning for ships approaching the mouth of Loch Ryan, as it has done for over 180 years. This working lighthouse has undergone extensive renovations to create a truly unique small luxury hotel and restaurant. Set in some 20 acres of spectacular coastline, it enjoys views to Kintyre, Arran, Ilsa Craig and the coast of Ireland. The Iron Age fort of Dunskirkloch lies here, and it's a haven for seabirds, seals and a wide variety of flora amid the weathered rock formations. <laughs>